Hi everybody and happy Tuesday. I have two fun books for you today. The first one is Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep and Bad Hair Day. And it's written by Eric Barkley and it's published by Harper Collins. And we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. How many of you had some bad hair when you were staying at home with your families? I know I did. This is Sheep. She loves her naturally curly wool. When it's full and fluffy, she feels as light as a cloud. Sometimes she styles her wool in a bun, like this, or ties it up into pigtails, like this, or puts it in a fancy hairdo, like this. So look at all her fancy hairdos. Who likes to put their hair in pigtails or make fancy hairdos? But, oh no, her wool has grown too full and too fluffy. And when it's this full and fluffy, she can't see. Oh no. And when she can't see, she trips over things, usually rocks. And there she does. Splash. Holy begonia, water chickens. Goodbye, water chickens. Are those water chickens? I think they're ducks. What do you think? They're ducks. Hello, sheepdog. How can I see with all this wool in my eyes? Sheepdog had the answer. No, thank you, sheep replied. And this little flyer here says shearing day. And shearing day means they're going to cut her wool. And she does not want a haircut. I know what will help. Be right back. How many of you like getting your hair cut or just don't like it at all? Off she went, past the tractor, past the chickens, through the cow poop, and past the well. But look, there's a rock. And she said earlier that she usually trips over things like rocks. So what's gonna happen? <gasps> right into the mud. But she really meant to do that. Really? Why didn't you look where I was going? Now she has to get a bath. She's muddy and stepped in cow poop. I've got the perfect thing. Uh-oh, what's she gonna do? Found it! Hmm. This hat isn't bringing me joy. I give up. So what was she going to do? She was going to wear a hat, but it didn't make her happy. Sheep! Sheepdog's looking for sheep. Sheepdog ran to the old truck to see if sheep was hiding there. He looked in the meadow. He looked in the shed. He even asked the pig. Looks like the pig likes her hat. Has anyone seen sheep, he asked at the duck pond. Nobody here but us water chickens, said a bush. Uh-oh, who's in the bush? Finally, he found her. I'm just not ready to give up my fluffy wool, sheep said sadly. And the little duck says, it grows back, you know. Why didn't you say so? So they went to shearing today only. So she's gonna go get her hair cut. Buzz, snip, buzz, snip, buzz, snip, snip, snip. I love it. No more tripping, no more mud, no more hats. I feel fabulous. It's your turn now. You're gonna feel so much better. Sheepdog, sheepdog, and what's sheepdog doing? He's running away. It looks like he doesn't want his hair cut. The end. So I'd love to know what you think about this book. Do you like getting haircuts? Or do you not? Let me know on our Instagram page. 
I will be back for our second story in just a few minutes. Until then, I'll see you soon.